What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Francis Michelle here. Super happy that you are here, clicked on this video and want to watch this video. Today's video is going to be a favorites. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the makeup products and tools I have been loving and using nonstop for the past month of August. So if you guys want to see what products I have been loving, obsessing all over with, then let's go ahead and keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start talking about this product. I have a skincare, hair care that I wanted to share with you guys, but I decided to split this video and make it two. So today's um, video will be only based on makeup and makeup tools. The following video that you're going to see of favorites is going to be based on skincare and hair care. And what I use to take care of my hair and the tools that I use and everything because you guys want to do, you guys wanted me to do like a hair care sort of thing and skincare. So let's go ahead and talk about this products that I have right in front of me. Um, I know it's going to be a quite lengthy video because I have a lot of products I want to share with you guys and um, they're pretty bomb. So, okay guys, so let's go ahead and start with, um, primers and actually I'm going to start with brows. I barely talk about brows so let's go ahead and talk in this video about brows. So in my last favorites video that I did I shared with you guys that I was so obsessed with the CoverGirl um, brow products which I totally am but I'm kind of branching out and giving other uh, products that I've received in the mail a try and recently I've been trying these two uh, pencils out for my brows one of them is the It Brow Power, and I know it's a tiny one, but I have the big one, but I've been using this one because I can put it in my purse, and I can retouch my brows just in case I see something that I'm not liking. So this is the Brow Power um, uh, Brow Pencil. It's in the Universal Taupe, I think it's called. Universal Taupe. So pretty much it has a color for, it's the color for everyone, so I feel like I... It kind of matches my skin complexion and it matches very well. And I also do like back and forth between that one. Sometimes I use that one to outline and then I use this one to fill. And for me to use a brow product to fill, um, my, I'm sorry, for me to use a brow pencil to fill my brows takes a lot. So I've been using this one and I've been loving it. This is the Girlactic Brow Pencil in the color Deep. So this is what it looks like. It's just a pencil on one side and it's fully on the other. Then we're going to talk about pretty much my primer. I did speak about it, I think, on my other favorites, but I really wanted to bring it out again because I feel like um, because it's a drugstore primer, it probably doesn't get as much as recognition that it should. But guys, legit, one of my top favorite primers. The CoverGirl True Blend um, Pore Minimizing Primer. I am obsessed. <coughs> oh, every time I sneeze, I feel like my baby's gonna come out. It's the pore minimizing, and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this thing, guys. This is a bomb.com. If you have enlarged pores, um, I feel like this primer is gonna be awesome for you. And the best thing is that it's drugstore. So, like, oh yes, I'm so obsessed. It's good. It's so good. It's like, oh. God. So let's move on to foundation. I have two foundations that I've been obsessed with and I am happy I tried them and honestly speaking, I have no disappointment whatsoever. The first one is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Total Coverage Foundation. Oh my god guys, this foundation though, it's a full coverage foundation. Um, it is a 24 hour matte finish. I love it. It's what I'm wearing right now on my face. Um, I've been using it non non-stop. I love it. It's a inexpensive foundation and they have a good range of colors. I did see that it kind of tends to be more for deep tones than lighter tones. So, but still, you can still find your shade. It's pretty amazing. The other, the other one I've been loving, um, excuse me that it's all dirty. <laughs> it's the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. 
So I have been loving this foundation. It is a high-end foundation, so I feel like this one is more like when I'm trying to glam out, I'm trying to do a, a good look or I'm going out or whatever because it is a high-end foundation. So, And it also is a matte finish foundation and it claims to last all day as well. It's a long wear foundation. So yeah, these two foundations have been my go-to lately. Like I cannot stop using it. I go from that one to the other. To, I go from the NYX Can't Stop to the Bounce Foundation and I feel like they are legit super, super, super good. For bronzer, I've been using and I've been loving the uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Bronzer. Um, oh my god, look, guys, can you tell that I've been obsessed with this bronzer? I love bronzers that have that bronzy look. I explain myself. The Hula bronzer, for me, it's a more gray undertone, so it's more like it's good for uh, contouring. For me, that Hoopla bronzer is perfect. I love it. I own it. I use it. But I use it to contour instead of actually giving me that highlight look. So for me, I feel like there's some bronzers that claim to be bronzers, but the undertoned color that it has, it's more for contouring because it has that gray undertone where it gives you that look of shadow instead of that uh, look of warmth to the skin. So I feel like this one and the Urban Decay Bronzed Beach Bronze Bronzer, it's like my top favorites. They have that bronzy color effect that when I apply it to my face, it makes you look like you're bronzed and everything. And I love it because of course it has the same technique that pretty much all the products have when it comes to no pores. So of course it's gonna help you minimize the appearance of pores. So I really, really enjoy using that bronzer. So when it comes to setting my under eyes, when it comes to baking, I cannot stress enough how amazing this powder from Derma Blend is. This is what the powder looks like. Um, this one is the loose setting powder in the color origin in the original and I love this powder. I read that it's a 16 hour wear powder. So you know that it's not going to go anywhere. It's gonna set your under eyes, it's gonna set what you're setting, it's gonna do the baking process the perfect way, and it's going to stay, it's gonna help you last a long time. It is a 16 hour wear and I'm so excited. I'm almost running out and I'm so, 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 so sad. But I absolutely love this powder, the quality and the, the coverage on it, even though it's a loose setting powder, um, I feel like it gives me enough coverage. And not only that, it highlights my under eyes really, really good. Like it doesn't just, just, oh yeah, I look cakey because I apply a lot of powder. No, it's, it's really good. They also have different colors. So for highlight, I have to say I've been obsessing over the um, dose of color. I love Sarai in the color um, Soulmate. It's a beautiful highlight. It is what I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love it, but I like to pair it with the Anastasia Liquid Glow in the color Oyster. So I recently bought these at, um, I saw them at Marshalls, and I was like, I'm going to try them. I've never used any liquid highlighter. I feel like uh, liquid highlight and liquid um, or cream contour is like a disaster on my face. So I try not to use it. I try to stay away from it. But honestly speaking, I, I've been loving this one right here. What I like to do is I like to apply it in the back of my palm. And with the damp beauty blender, I dab it and then I apply it on the highest points of my cheeks. And of course on the nose, on my bridge of my nose. And then I go in and I apply the um, Soulmate highlight. And it's pretty much... The combination that I have going on right now is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So for bronze, for blush, I have been loving this Delazi Bahama um, blush palette. It has all the colors that I like to use. It has pink colors. Um, the lights are definitely washing it off. They're not doing justice as how beautiful this palette is. Let me see if I can. Maybe there. has a nice pink, a nice peach, a couple of um, like... Uh, peachy colors with a little bit of shimmer then they have this one is by far my favorite like a tan color I wish you can really what is going on with my hair so the colors are super super cute I love the fact that it has a mirror this brand right here is not disappointing guys I have been obsessed with the brand as you know I filmed the recent eye tutorial that I have using a upcoming uh, 
palette from them which is like amazing and for eyes guys I have been obsessing over these two single shadows by Anastasia these two right in the corner right over here the golden one and that brown color I'm gonna tell you what they're called these have been my non-stop go-to simple makeup look lately like these are the ones that i use on my eyes no joke so the shimmery one the color sunset that's the color sunset right here i'm gonna sw i'm gonna swatch both of them so you guys can see how beautiful these colors are and so pigmented i've never owned an anastasia beverly hills um single shadow and i am shook because it's so good and then the matte one is called caramel and this is what it looks like struggle is real so I'm gonna swatch them really quick so you guys can see what it looks like caramel is the one in the top which is the matte color and then sunset is that shimmer color in the bottom look how beautiful those colors are combined together on the eye it looks amazing I'm definitely going to be filming a look for you guys using these two colors um, which are pretty much my everyday go-to makeup look that I've been using lately and then the other palette I've been using for my eyes non-stop for the month of August of course you'll know that I've been using it a lot is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay I feel like it has every shade you need for cool tone dark tones now for fall I just love this palette I love the versatility of it I just love every single shade how amazing and pigmented every single shade is I do I am not disappointed in it I am not I'm not mad that I bought the the palette. And then to finish up for the eyes, um, I've been using, loving these two mascaras lately together. Um, I've been using the Tarte Lifted Mascara. It came in my BoxyCharm box for the month of August. And then I've been using a lot, a lot, the Maybelline Total Temptation. This is my second um my second bottle because I just love how amazing that freaking mascara is. I'm like, oh my god, this mascara is bomb.com. All right, and then for lips, honestly speaking, I have been using the same non-stop. Um, the lip liner, my favorite lip liner at the moment is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist in the color Caramel Nude, which is this one right here. It's, it is the one I'm wearing outside my lips. I've been using the I Love Sarai Nude Chica. I've been using the Barely There by I Love Sarai in those of color as well. I've been using CoverGirl. I've been using a lot of nude colors. I do just full and straight between one and, one and the other. All right, guys, and to finish up the video, I want to share with you guys the tools that I've been using lately, which I'm obsessed with, and they have they are from the brand Salazi. Okay, so these are the ones that I've been using for the eyes. Um, they have the both collection. The black collection is one, and the white collection is another one. So I have been obsessing. These are the no. These are the two blending brushes that I've been using from them, the big blending brush and the small blending brush. And then for like more of a deep crease, I have been using this one, which is a large pointed crease brush. Mm. There we go. Um, and then I've used the smudge to smudge um, the color on the bottom of my eye. So on the lashes, on my lower lash line. And I've been using, it's on the floor guys, I'm sorry, I can't bend over when you're pregnant. <laughs> and I've also been using a shader brush, so it's just a shader flat brush also from them. Those are the only brushes I've been using on my eyes lately non-stop since I received um, the package of brushes in the mail. And I was just stoked at how amazing the quality of these brushes are. So the other ones I've been using are for the face, are these ones right here as well. Um, this one I've been using for bronzer and contouring. This is the Cheek and Chisel. I have been obsessed with all of them, guys. This one is the Taper Cheek. I use this one for blush. I use the Highlight one for, of course, highlight. Sometimes I like to go between that one or the Fan Brush, which is absolutely amazing. And then I like to use also the um, Dual Fiber Precision Stipple Brush for like kind of blending everything together on my eyes. And then the last one is the Dual Fiber Small Powder Brush. This one I like to use to kind of like take out, take out the, blood, the loose powder that I applied on my face. So I kind of go in with this one. Now, 
This one is not Stilazzi, but I do have to share with you guys. I have been, I, I am a true believer of the Beauty Blender. I use Beauty Blender from left and right nonstop. I enjoy using it. It's one of the best tools out there. But lately, I've been giving this foundation, um, this foundation brush a try from Is Cosmetics. It is the dual um, fiber, it's the dual, dual uh, brush. You guys, <laughs> the way that it's sets my foundation, especially using it with the NYX um, Total Control Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, foundation. So I just like to use the top part, guys. This blue, uh, brush, I can't, it's a gem. I know they're a little pricey, the It Cosmetics brushes are a little pricey, but I feel like they are really good, guys. Like their brushes are really good, really good. So yeah, guys, so this, Kind of concludes my beauty favorites that I've been loving, products that I've been loving, obsessing, using nonstop for the month of August. Let me know if you use any of, the pro any of these products and you like them. Uh, also, let me know what products you've been obsessed with. I always love trying new products out. Let me know in the description box down below. Stay tuned for the hair care and skin care um, favorites that I will be uploading on my channel soon. Well, thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for sticking till the end. Thank you so much for your love and support. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my final video. Adios.